Rich Haynes here, Grimey Manager for the East. Here in a source cornfield in Indiana with just a couple thoughts on nutrient uptake during these late growth stages uh, that we're now seeing across the country. So now I've been traveling a lot lately from Illinois all the way out to Pennsylvania and out east. Uh, and I'm getting questions as I talk to growers all over about how I can finish the crop out strong. So in these conversations, I'm hearing a lot of concern uh, about how to get macronutrients into the plant. And this is a valid concern. So getting nitrogen, phosphorus to the plant and VT and onward uh, keeps them firing and keeps those ears filling for the duration of the season. And for a lot of us that cut back on nitrogen this season because of the price and the availability, uh, this is an especially critical moment. Uh, as a lot of that freely available nitrogen uh, is limited, uh, phosphorus and boron demand are very high, and um, the plants are now dependent on the soil microbiome to get access to the nitrogen that's left in the soil. Phosphorus at this time is also essential as roughly 45-ish percent is still needed post-tassel. So nitrogen gives plants the fuel they need to bulk up, but phosphorus and boron are really what push those nutrients into the kernel uh, and really help put them to work toward the yields that we want and we're all looking for. So for both of these concerns, source uh, can be a great option to safeguard the plants with a steady stream of those nutrients late season uh, it's a really easy chemistry to apply, and it also has a really wide application window with, an app with a window right now from VT uh, to R2-ish. Uh, on corn, man, you can use it to really help finish uh, these crops out strong with some access to nutrients late. Um, we do that by amplifying that plant to microbe signal. Uh, this stimulates microbial activity with what already lives in your soil. Uh, it's a really essential option to get those plants the late season nutrients that they need right now. It's really not too late uh, to get source still for corn and for soybeans this season. Uh, as there's a window on both with your fungicide pass, like we said, that VT to R2 on corn. And look at more of that R2, R3 on soybeans, uh, or maybe those double crop beans, putting them in behind wheat. Uh, if you really want to learn more, you want to look at increasing your yields this season, uh, please check out our website at sound.ag uh, to find your local dealer or for more information. Thank you, and we look forward to working with you this season and as we move forward.